In this module, we'll talk about the status of English in the subcontinent. Baraj Khachru defines the subcontinent English as an educated variety with, of course, different varieties within it. This definition of uh, the subcontinent English or the English of the South Asia as the educated variety is comparable with uh, the educated British or American English. What this means is, is that just as um, British English, when we talk about the educated British English, we mean the English which is codified and standardized in grammar books and not the uh, different dialects which are used in different regions of um, England. Similarly, when we talk about educated American English, we do not mean the regional dialects which are used in the USA but the English which is used by the educated population of the USA. So in this way, uh, the term educated um, variety of English um, or the educated subcontinent English is comparable with educated um, British variety of English or educated American variety of English. In terms of the status of English in the subcontinent, um, we can say that after the British East India Company was established in the subcontinent for several decades, uh, it was treated as a foreign language and um, its use became more prevalent only after the independence of uh, different countries of this region from the British. Uh, so with this change in social and political climate, um, this, the change in the linguistic profile of these countries also took place and um, the, which also affected the status of English in uh, this region. Now we see that um, English has attained a not noticeable place in the languages of the subcontinent in different countries and it performs uh, several functions. For example, it is used as a lingua franca, it is the language of the government in many countries of the subcontinent including India and Pakistan. It is also the language of education um, at different levels, particularly at high education level. But in some countries, it is also the um, uh, language of education at the primary or the secondary level. Then it is also a vehicle for the writing of literature in many uh, countries of the subcontinent. And then it is also used as a language of influence and development. By influence, we mean the influence the language has on uh, the linguistic characteristics of other languages, also its influence on other literary genres and also on the vocabulary of the other languages. By development, uh, we mean the use of English in such areas as management, technology and diplomacy. So English has a number of uses in uh, these um, countries in the subcontinent. An interesting um, role or an interesting um, function that English performs in the subcontinent is that of um, acting as an agent of religious neutralization. In India, for example, um, English is not used for religious purposes, uh, but uh, Sanskrit is. So San Sanskrit in India is the language of religion uh, for Hinduism, and Arabic is the language of um, Islam. So in India and Pakistan, um, Sanskrit in India and Arabic in Pakistan, these two languages uh, serve the religious purposes. Despite the popularity of English and its widespread uses in these two countries and many other countries of the subcontinent, it is not used for religious purposes. 
So this lack of religious identity of English in this part of the world is actually an advantage. Uh, it's an advantage because um, there are lots of religious differences in in uh, this part of the world. And if we have a neutral language, it goes to the advantage of the language. And it actually adds to the use of English. It adds to the value of English in this part of the world. Vis-a-vis -vis role of English or status of English in India, we see that a government act was passed in 1967 which made English co-equal with uh, Hindi for several purposes. For example, um, for all official purposes of the Union of um, India, um, it also became the language of the parliament and it served uh, the role of a local lingua franca. So it became the language of communication between the Union and uh, the other states which have uh, different uh, local languages. As we know that India is a multilingual country with lots of different languages used by uh, the uh, population of India and there are large sections of population in India which do not even know Hindi. So English serves the purpose of a local lingua franca and it is used for communication between the Union and other states which do not uh, know English or which are not well versed with English. Uh, so, we see that um, the status of English in the subcontinent is um, quite um, noticeable. It has a lot of prestige and it performs lots of important functions in different countries of the subcontinent.